Hannah here with Delta. Today we're going to talk about installing the trim in your bathroom tub and shower. First, let's talk about what's behind the wall, which is Delta's multi-choice universal rough valve. This rough valve is great because it really opens the door to lots of options and works with a wide range of styles and finishes offered by Delta Faucet. It also allows for different valves with varying types of functionality, all without needing to change the valve inside the wall. Today I'm going to show you how to install a T17T model, which is a dual function thermostatic model. This just means that you can adjust the temp and volume separately, but it also has a thermostatic cartridge that keeps the temperature steady, which is great to eliminate hot or cold bursts. It helps automatically adjust the water so you don't get surprised when, say, someone flushes the toilet. Let's get started on installing that trim. The first step to installing our trim is installing our cartridge. I'm installing a model starting with T17T, which is a dual function thermostatic valve. Now remember, also make sure your water is off. Okay, now we're gonna unscrew our bonnet nut. And we do wanna keep this, so make sure you don't lose that. All right, now we're gonna take our test cap out. Now this is used when pressure testing to make sure that there's no leaks, so we don't need this anymore, we can discard that. Now we're gonna reach in here and we're gonna grab this debris screen. It's towards the top, looks just like this. Again, this has served its purpose, so we can discard this. Okay, now we're gonna take our cartridge here. Now included in your packaging, there should be a little packet of grease. You wanna grease three O-rings on here. There's an O-ring here, you wanna grease all around here, and then there's an O-ring on each one of these feet. You wanna grease around each one of those O-rings. Okay, now on your cartridge, there is a little, little word here, it says up. You wanna ignore that. What you really wanna pay attention to is the hot and cold side. You wanna make sure that the hot is on the hot side and the cold is on the cold side. Now for me, my hot is on the left side, so I'm gonna make sure that hot is towards the left. Okay, now there's keys on either side of this cartridge. They look like little arrows right here. We wanna line those up with the key ways that are in our valve. And we wanna make sure they sit all the way flush. So you apply a little bit of pressure and they should seat right in. Okay, now we're gonna take our bonnet nut, making sure not to cross thread it. And just hand tighten this on. Okay, now we're gonna pause here and we're gonna go up top and install our shower arm and shower head. Okay, now it's time to install our shower head and our shower arm. I have the arm here. You'll notice that there's a long side and a short side. This can be installed either way. I'm gonna install mine with the long end in the fitting. So I'm gonna put plumber's tape on both sides. You can see I've already done it on one side. This other side, I wanna make sure that the end of my plumber's tape doesn't come unraveled when I tighten this into the fitting. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna take my tape here, flip it around. Start this. I'm gonna wrap this around four or six times. Okay. All right, so now when I tighten this into the wall, you can see that the end of my tape here is just gonna get flattened down. It's not gonna come unraveled, which is what we wanna see. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my flange and I'm gonna do finish sides toward me. So I'm gonna slide this over the arm. And I don't wanna slide this down too far. I don't wanna scratch the arm, but I wanna slide it down enough that I don't scratch my wall when I tighten this into my fitting. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna hand tighten this into my fitting. Okay, that's good. It's facing down, that's what we wanna see. Now I'm gonna push our flange back onto the wall. Make sure that that's sitting nice and tight up against it. There's no gaps. Okay, that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna grab my shower head. Now I wanna make sure that the screen and gasket is still in the nut of my shower head. They come like this in the package, but we just wanna make sure that they didn't fall out. All right, so mine are in there, so we're good. 
Now I'm gonna hand thread this on to the bottom of my shower arm. Okay, that's nice and hand tight. Now you'll notice that this shower head is on a ball joint, meaning it moves all around. So if you need a little, it to be a little bit more tight, you can reach up here and there's a nut on the top of the shower head and you can just tighten that with your hand. Okay, now if you have a leak, you can use a wrench. I would just use a towel as a buffer between the nut on the shower head and the wrench so you don't scratch anything. There are two flat sides on this. So just put your wrench on that and tighten it down. Now if you have any excess plumber's tape hanging out, you can just cut that off with a knife. Okay, this looks good. We're ready to move on to install our tub spout. Okay, everything you need for your tub spout installed will be included in this bag, and the instructions are actually listed on the bag, so make sure you carefully open it and don't discard this bag. Okay, included in your package, there will be a tub spout adapter. Now there's a couple different types of these depending on how they attach. You can either slip them on and then tighten it down with a set screw. You can sweat them on or you can thread them on to a half inch pipe thread. Now the kind that I have is the slip on. So I'm just gonna slip this on with this set screw towards the back and follow the instructions on your packaging for the distance between the back of your shower wall and the back of the adapter. Okay, mine's good. I'm gonna take an eighth inch hex key and tighten this down. And when I do this, I wanna make sure that I don't puncture the copper pipe. I just wanna make it snug. Okay, that's nice and snug. Okay, now I'm gonna take my tub spout here and a pro tip here, I find I always use silicone right around this edge here. It just ensures a watertight seal. And the only place I don't wanna put it is in this weep hole here, just in case any water does get in here or any condensation, it has a place to drain. So I'm gonna take silicone and just put a small bead right on the edge. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna screw on my tub spout to my adapter. Okay, now I'm gonna take a damp cloth and I'm just gonna wipe up any excess silicone. Okay, now we're gonna move up to our trim and finish out that install. All right, now we're ready to install our valve trim. We're gonna grab our black O-ring here and slide it on over the cartridge and then over this bonnet nut. And it's gonna sit just right behind the bonnet nut. We don't wanna slide it back any further. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna take our sleeve. We're gonna slide the sleeve over all that. And we're gonna put some pressure on it. There we go. Okay, we want it to sit all the way back just like that. Okay, now we're gonna take our escutcheon. You'll notice there's a gasket on the back of this. We're gonna put silicone along this gasket, except for on the bottom where the, there's a break in the gasket here. We wanna leave this open just so that any water can drain. Okay, so we're gonna take silicone. And like I said, just line the edge. Start at the bottom. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna grab my two screws that came included with the package. I find it's easier to put them in first. And then we're gonna line these up with these screw holes in our bracket. Slide this over, line up the top one, line up the bottom one. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm gonna start threading these in. Okay. All right, that looks good. I have no gaps and I'm all centered. Okay. Now we're gonna take our handle and you'll notice on the inside of the handle, there's two 
flat areas. We want to line up those flat areas with the flat areas right here on my cartridge. So I'm just going to line those up. And you'll know it when you get it, it'll kind of seat in there. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my eighth inch hex key and I'm just going to tighten down this set screw. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now we're going to turn this off. All right, now it's time to adjust our rotational limit stop. Okay, now it's time to adjust a rotational limit stop. That's what controls how hot your water can get. Industry standard says that 120 is too hot, but your local code may vary. 90 to 110 is the ideal temperature, most comfortable temperature. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our temperature knob here, and we're gonna put it on. Doesn't matter where I line it up right now, I'm just gonna line it up with the handle. And then I'm gonna turn our water on. That's gonna run cold for just a minute. I'm gonna get a thermometer, turn that on. Now I'm gonna turn my temperature knob here all the way to hot, and I'm gonna wait for it to get as hot as it can get. All right, so I'm gonna run the water into a glass that I have a thermometer stuck in. All right, so I'm right at 72, which is obviously too cold. And that's probably the situation you'll be in. This is normally where they're set at right out of the box. So to adjust the temperature, I'm gonna take off my knob. I'm gonna spin it around. And then I'm gonna turn it hotter. All right, now let's see where we're at. Okay, so I'm already at 111 right now, which is too hot, so I need to adjust it colder. So all I'm gonna do is just spin this colder. We'll try right there, test it. All right, we're right at 102.6, and that's great. That's just where I want it. All right, so we're gonna turn the water off. Then I'm gonna take off the temperature knob. And you'll see on the back of it, there's this flat side right here. I wanna line that up with this stop right here. So I'm just gonna line those up. Okay. And now, when I turn my water back on, it won't go past that, so it can get any hotter than that. I'll show you. Okay. Okay, now it's time to screw down our temperature knob. I have a screw here that was included in your packaging and a Phillips screwdriver. And since I am working with small parts, you might wanna put a towel or just something down to cover your drain so you don't lose anything down it. Okay, so I'm gonna take our screw here. I'm just going to hand thread it into the hole in the center of our temperature knob. Okay, now I'm gonna take our screwdriver, tighten it the rest of the way down. Now I'm gonna take our cover here, making sure that it's right side up. I'm just going to apply some pressure and that should seat right in there. Okay, that looks good. All right, that wraps up our install. I hope it went smoothly for you. If you have any questions or need any help, reach out to Delta's customer service. They have a knowledgeable support staff ready to help.